Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie, and today I'm going to bring to you the third in a series of tutorials about utilities that you can use to look at your system hardware on Linux. So anyway, today we have a little something called Inksy, which is spelled I-N-X-I. And which is not installed on here. It's usually not installed by default, so you have to do that yourself. So I am on an Orange Pi right now, or I'm remotely logged into an Orange Pi right now, which is the same as Ubuntu 1804 basically. So I'm just going to do sudo apt install inksy. And of course, if you're on Fedora, just do a DNF install, Inksy. And if you're on CentOS or Red Hat, do a yum install, Inksy, you know, whatever you got, right? Just depends on your package manager utilities. But in any case, Inksy should be the package name across the board. So anyway, it is installing. It'll be done here in just a few moments. Alrighty, and it is installed. So now we can just go ahead here and we can take a look at the man page for Inksy. And we can scroll on down and see all of the cool option switches that you can use there. You can look at audio or sound card information. We can just do basic output. If you're on a laptop, you can show battery data we can change color schemes. Ooh, that's a good one. We can, with the uppercase C, that's the lowercase C, with the uppercase C, we can show full CPU output. And we can show drive data. This shows all drives along with the optical drives. This shows just the hard disk info. And this shows full output. We can look at graphic card information and we can look at our IP address and local interfaces and we can show information about processes, uptime, memory, all that good stuff and so on and so forth. I'm not going to sit here and read all of them to you. You can read through them yourself if you so desire. We also have some sensors ones here, but uh, you, you saw there when we did the installation, it popped up with a little message about recommended packages. I forgot to point it out, but uh, the recommended packages will be the, the different sensor type utilities you can install. The sensors don't work on all motherboards though. It really depends upon the motherboard uh, setup. I don't know if it would work here on an Orange Pi or not. Probably not, but, uh, but on most modern actual desktop computers or servers that the sensors should work when you install them and uh, and uh, so on and so forth as I said I'm not going to read it all to you you can just look at this yourself at your leisure but anyway let's go ahead here and look at a few examples of what we got we can just do inksy like this by itself and it'll show just basic information and you see here it's an Orange Pi, so we have a quad-core ARM version 7 CPU, 1008 megahertz, you know, 1 gigahertz basically. We see the version of our Linux kernels 4.19.17, and we see architecture for, well, it's the Linux 4 ARM, duh, it would be. And uh, we see our uptime, and we see basic memory information there, and it's 500 meg of memory. So uh, we're only using like 103 megabit so far, and uh, and we show our uh, hard drive there in a no, no hard drive, hey, and uh, looks like 113 processes, and it's just a shell. Okay, we don't have a graphical desktop running. So let's go ahead here then and do this again with a dash b. And this is our basic info. So, uh, yeah, it's basic info, but it's more than uh, 
<laughs> you would think just the default there without an option switch would be the, be the basic, but it's not. So anyway, uh, yeah, you see there, Orange Pi 1 and uh, the system, the machine there, uh, information, CPU information, graphics. Now, it failed to detect video card. Well, duh, yeah, uh, it would because there is no video card. It's just a little video chip and uh, no display server, all that. And network, failed to detect network card. Well, uh, it's kind of unusual because there is a, a network interface. I mean, obviously, I'm logged into it, so I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, uh, drives, we don't have hard drives, and we see the processes, uh, uptime, memory, all that good stuff, right? And then we can also use the different option switches to narrow things down a bit. Instead of seeing all that, we can do like ink C dash A. We can see info about our audio stuff there, and it failed to detect a sound card, but yet it says uh, ALSA for uh, version K1917 for the sound. So it does have sound in it, and again, I don't know why it says it can't detect a sound card, but that's just the way it is. And let's see here. Uh, let's do a dash uppercase G. And again, it just shows us basically there in this case the uh, uh, what we already saw there in that basic output with the dash uh, lowercase b. And we can do ink C dash M, except woo, DMI decode is not installed. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to uh, boot up another machine here, an actual regular machine here, so I can show you that. And we can show here, dash N. Okay, no network card, dash N, dash I. We'll show the IP address there too. So yes, it has an IP address. And notice there too even shows the wide area network address. So that's, it, it's actually detecting the public IP address on the wide area network side of my fiber optic modem. So that's pretty cool, right? And then we can do INC-C dash C and that gives us the CPU info. And we put a dash X in there. Now, most utilities in Linux, when you want more verbose output, you use a dash V. With the ink C, you use a dash X to give you more verbose output. But it's not really doing anything for us here. Okay? So anyway, let's uh, go ahead and pause this. And I'm going to come back. And uh, when I come back, we'll be logged into an actual, actual, uh, workstation, a Hewlett Packard workstation, instead of uh, just this little orange pie. And we'll show some differences in the output. Okay, I'm back, but uh, while I was waiting for this machine to boot up, I also did a quick install of the DMI decode package here on this orange pie. So let's go ahead here and try that memory one again and see what happens. So sudo inksy, and this is one of the few of the inksy commands that actually requires sudo. Most of them don't. Uh, but anyway, no SMBIOS data. Okay, so I guess we're not going to get this here on the orange pie. That's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead here. I'll log out of that, log into my Hewlett Packard workstation, and we'll see what we got with that. Okay, we're back. So let's see what we got here. We can do inksy. And so there's our basic info here. We have a pair of quad-core Opteron Model 2380 processors. We see the speed, the kernel, and we see memory information there. 16 gig of memory all total and less than a gig there in use. And storage there, 465 gigabytes. It's a 500 gigabyte drive. Number of processes, the bash shell and so on and so forth, all right? So we can now do the dash B. And again, a little bit more interesting information here. 
We see the distro. It's Fedora 29. We see information there about the machine. It's a Hewlett Packard. Whoa, look at that. Manufacture date 12 10 2009. Yes, it's an old one, but it works. It does everything I need it to do. And CPU information, graphics information. We've got NVIDIA Quadro and network. Of course, we've got the NVIDIA chipset in there, even though it's an AMD CPU. And drives. We see the information about the hard drive, number of processes, memory, all that good stuff down here. So uh, let's go ahead here and again we'll try some of the other option switches. And we try AG like that. And this will give us information about both audio and the graphics. And we can do a dash X. Let's do a dash X, see what we got. And doesn't look like it gives us a whole lot so far the uh well it does it does give us a little bit more information here because now it gives us the bus id here for our graphics card and it gives us a little bit more information here about the audio device it looks like and also it says advanced graphics data unavailable in console try dash g dash dash display okay well we'll try that Okay, so we got a little more information there. So that's good. So anyway, we can now go ahead here and try sudo inxy-m to see memory information. Okay, so that's what we got there. And it looks like we got, uh, yeah, we got uh, 15 gigabytes all together. And We've got these eight two gig memory sticks. And it looks like we have a flash memory slot there. And we got the system ROM, which is one megabyte. And array two capacity is 32 gigabytes, multi-bit error correcting memory, right? So I can have like a total of 64 gigabytes of memory in this machine if I wanted it, if I wanted to spend the money to upgrade, which I don't because 16 gig does me. And so uppercase C, CPU info. Let's see what the dash X does. Yeah, dash X uh, shows the different flags. So it does show a little bit extra information there. And shows the, the flags, the capabilities. SSC 4 is the newest instruction set it'll run. And so that's good. And inc C dash uppercase M shows you the machine information. And we see it's a Hewlett Packard model XW9400. And then let's also go ahead here, do a dash N with the network information, and we see the different network devices there. And I do have, I do have the, uh, I think that's the, I think that's the interface names for the uh, VMware player that I have installed on here. And I got two network interfaces, but only uh, on the machine itself, but uh, I'm only using one of them. And we can do a dash I in here as well. And that will show us the IP address information there too. So we got uh, network interface one. It's down. We're not using it. And then interface number two is what I'm plugged into. And you can see there that indeed I do have all the Information there, I got uh, IPv4 address and an IPv6 address. Whoops, it only goes down that far. Okay, I got an IPv4 address and an IPv6 address. You can see the MAC address. And of course, down here, we see the wide area network address. That's the public address on the ISP side of my fiber optic modem.
or not really a modem, but you know what I mean, okay? But uh, anyway, and, and again, as I said before, if you want to see more cool stuff, just do the man page, and you can see all kinds of information there. You can play around with all of these different option switches. Oh, here's one I should have shown you. I should, should have shown you the dash D. Okay, so that shows the drives, Western Digital. Dash lowercase D shows the optical drive in there as well. So pretty cool stuff, right? Right? But anyway, as I said, look at the man page, play around with it, look at all the different options, and uh, I mean, you can look at uh, a, a lot of different stuff. And uh, in a way, I like it better than the LSHW that we looked at in the last video because it lets you narrow down the stuff that you want to see. With the LSHW, you see all or nothing. But with the Inksy, you can just focus on specific uh, pieces of hardware or portions of your system that you want to look at. So it's really cool. So anyway, that's all I got for this video. If you like the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.